Well, that's better. Uh, we didn't have a great week, but we certainly finished with a little bit of a bang. Now, we still got Born to Dance tomorrow on Sunday, but he's in a good spot, too. So, um, it was nice to see uh, I'm Fancy. Like, you know, you try to gauge the stable, like, oh, this one didn't come back good, or that one didn't come back great. But if you have a place where they can get a good soft start to the year, you know, we were able to, I'm Fancy, like, put her in a condition claimer. You know, one of our clients said, why, why do you have her in a, in a claimer? I said, because one, I don't think anybody's in a claimer. And two, it's a really good spot for her. When you have to start, you know, when you have to start and then your very first start, you're like right in the red line with the horses. It's it's hard. It's not an easy thing to do, right? And uh, we've really had some luck with, uh, with some of the classes here. So we're going to talk about the two-year-olds. Now, Amy is inside uh, feeding the horses. I only got so much sun left. I did want to get this video in and potentially an opening and be done the videos this week. So uh, I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to tell you all about the horses, where I think they are. I don't want to go ahead and grade them again. There's no need of it. But there are some horses that... I trained them, we trained them between 18 and 22, 23 this week and came right back with another one today. Which horses took it? Well, I, I, I was very happy. They're all feeding in there. I walked up and down the shed row just to see who was eating and everybody's banging for their food or they're eating, they've already started eating. The other horse, everybody's sharp. Nobody's sulking. And that's always uh, always a great start to this part of the year. It's very, very important. So Ali's got grit. Uh, has made breaks. Won't be his last break uh, that you see him make. Now, hopefully he doesn't make any, any all summer in Illinois. But um, coming. His appetite's picking up. He's starting to understand the set situation. He's more behaved in the hole. I told you guys this would happen. And it is uh, It is coming to fruition. I, I knew it would. It would. I mean, it was a, a foregone conclusion. Every horse... Once they understand, they can be rude or ignorant or even sour, but they all at some point understand their work. Whether they decide to do it well is on them, but they all understand it. And Ali's Got Great is now starting to understand it. Mildly happy with what I saw over the last week. Now, this guy had really got under my skin a little bit. A couple of horses did. Didn't make it to the principal's office, and I don't think he'll need to. Uh, but happier with what I've seen from Ali's Got Great. Arrowhead Hanover, this horse, these international monies, man, they... they there's no cookie cutter thing with them. Arrowhead Hanover has quietly looked very good from day one. Where you have horse like Manhattan Money now starting to come on at the towards the end of the spring. I see the same sort of trend happening with Never Lose Felix now as he's starting to get sounder and more confident and sharper and bigger. Um, they, they don't conform the same way and Arrowhead Hanover has just been a treat from day one. He was very, very good today. Atron made a break on the front end today. I think there was a lot that went into her. Now she's... Um, very fast Philly. Jason Merriman and I had a great talk about it today, about the chimpanzees, what we thought of them, who we, you know, who our picks were, what we thought the horse, just shop talk. And and uh, he loves his Philly, and I don't remember him going with her that much, but he really, really liked a Tront, and she's a likable horse. Nice, compact Philly, moves quick, and just built like a little pit bull, and, and a very nice Philly. Um, so I like her very much. Aunt Lily, much better over the last week. I told Amy, she gets sick. And then Amy went with her and said, with the ear hood and the snake cord on, she's really quiet and I got to chase her. I said, I'm, I'll go with her this week. But when I go with her, you're going to realize that she's not as quiet as you think she is. I went, <laughs> went with her and Amy said, fine. So Amy went and took the ear hood off her and trained her the next week. Uh, a little different, Aunt Lily. She was very aggressive. Jason Merriman went with her today. She trained very good. Bluebird Tuxedo Hill. Uh, I, I said, to, I don't know if I got to talk to Joey after. It's twice now. He just moved him first over. He's not that first over type. If not first over at the quarter, clear to the front. I think you're going to see him do his best work in that scenario. Um, he's not like a, a heavy sprinter just yet. He's got the gait where he should be, but he just hasn't hit his most confident stride. But a very, very nice. And again, we have a pretty deep pool of of uh, two-year-old trotting colts that are Ohio breds here right now. And, and this guy's in the mix. Uh, and as I said, I, I think unless everybody has, we, I say this every year, right? Unless everybody has some really nice horses, I think we're going to have a lot of fun in Ohio. And on the Philly side, we have Foxy Seaside. We have uh, Rose Run Alexandra. On on the on the Pacing Colt side, we have Rose Run uh, AJ. Uh, the Trotting Colt, we have five or six that are really, really nice Colts. And the same on the Trotting Philly side, two or three that are really come forward you start to see them start to fit into places right where it's still a little fluid on the colt side the trotting philly freedom hill is slowly making her way to the top of the totem pole right now um pacing philly side foxy seaside has her days where i'm like hmm. i just thought that rosa and alexandra was kind of a slam dunk to be the queen of that division in our barn 
Um, but there is just going to be a tussle here at some point. Um, so as I said, Bluebird Tuxedo Hill is in that mix. Um, Blue Ventura tied up and was a little bit sick. He's coming on now. A good training trip from him today. I'm happy. As I said, hits the ground hard. That's my only concern with him. So he's going to wear those flip-flops. We've had two or three of these Hestons and all three of them. We I remember specifically two of them uh, taking the flip-flops off and them getting on a line a little more. One of them was making breaks at the gate. Um, and all of them ended up staying in flip-flops. So uh, or getting them back on, I should say. So Blue Ventura, like what I see, eager to see how he trains back down. What's that? Yes, dear. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Cado, another trotting colt. Now, he made a break today, and I know I have a lot of people emailing me. A lot of my partners at different horses saying, Anthony, can you go with this horse? I just, I'm worried that he's going to be doing this, and he's doing that, and he's going to do this. Guys, I, I say this all the time. You guys get to look behind the curtain, right? You get to see... Uh, the preparation for the play, so to speak, right? You get to see the, the rehearsals and that's where the mistakes are made and corrected and everything is polished up and you guys get to see all of it. So you may see Cado make a break or you know Foxy Seaside make a break. You, you just gotta relax. It's part of the process and much like I did in my life, sometimes you gotta learn to, you gotta make mistakes, right? To, to learn how to do it right and that's what a lot of these horses are doing now. The ones with the good attitudes will, will use those mistakes as learning tools and the ones that don't have great attitudes won't. But Cadeau has a fantastic attitude. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. How are you? Uh, Captain Incredible. Now, I haven't seen him since he's he been in. He gave me a warning there. Just picked my nose. He just picked your nose? Well, here's a warning. Don't pick your nose. Um, uh, oh, there's Jace. Let's fill you a second. Um, uh, Captain Incredible. I haven't seen him in the last little bit. A lot of people saying, where's he going? What's he doing? I haven't really talked to Ron Burke about the horse since we were going to send him down there. My initial thought was he would just take him to New Jersey and, and, and continue on with him. We can take him back here. We can take him to Pennsylvania. I haven't made my mind up yet. Uh, we have a, a multitude of paths for him, and we'll see what happens in the very near future. Um, no, no, go ahead and look at TikTok. No, oh, was, no I'm just trying to I'm do videos. Make, Don't worry about it. I'm going to make a... I see. Can a you TikTok. stop being rude? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a winner's circle post... I see. Because she's named after a song. Who is? The I'm fancy like... Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, okay, good. Are you done being rude? No, no. Go ahead. Play tech. Do you want me to stop my video? Do it later. <laughs> no, go ahead. Uh, so... Before everybody. What's up? Uh, Century Legion uh, had a couple of splints cry out. Now, uh, we had given weeks here and given weeks here to a number of horses, same as in Ontario. But as I said to Danny, no more days off. Their horses are going to train twice a week and start training hard now. Uh, the sunshine's going to come out. We're going to have some nice days in the, in the days and weeks ahead, and we're going to take full advantage of them. So there's going to be, oh, it's raining a little bit. I saw you take a drink of my drink. How is it? It's raining a little bit. No more days off. Wednesday, Saturday, or Tuesday, Friday. Uh, they're training twice a week from here on in. And Century uh, Legion, a nice colt again, uh, had a splint crowd today, yesterday, so he didn't train today, but they will start training this week, um, twice a week, all of them. And we generally do anyway, but through the latter part of the summer, as the corks start to come off and the rain's there and the track's just not the greatest. We, if they get a, a couple of days or a week off in between, we've done it with Green Glitter, we've done it with uh, Green, er, Grand Slam Dio. What? Oh, that's not nice. Grand Slam deal. So it's not the end of the world, but starting now, April 15th, twice a week, every week. Um, Chicago Hall, same type of thing. Uh, this guy, I think very, very highly of him. I think he's got everything going on. He understands his work. Uh, just a, a really, really nice horse. Uh, Cleveland Masha, trying to get the bottom. What the hell went on with that foot? She made a break, pulled up lame, and to walk, she's sound, but on the jog, she's still off left front. Uh, diagnostically, they can't really find anything. You know, you think there's a leg. Okay, I turned off. Baby no, no, we're gonna watch baby drafts, everybody. Here, I you turned want, off. Me just to put it down. I turned off. Give me my that sound. phone. I'll be like Ollie. Okay. I will take that away from I you. I turned it off. See? Yeah. Well, okay. Can we keep it like that? Yeah. Okay. Good. Appreciate it. Um. Uh. So Cleveland Masha, we just have to. I see that. Cleveland Masha, we just have to figure out exactly what is going on. It's not serious enough for her to be lame to the walk. But uh, at any sort of speech, he still is a little pinchy on it. So it's not the end of the world, but I do want to figure out exactly what is going on with her. Country Dancing is training great at the Meadows with Tim. Uh, he's He raves about her. Now, the last two weeks I've gone over there. Dean loves her. Everybody seems to like her. And she's 
she's really grown on them and, and uh, grown into that barn nicely. So, so that is good. Dancing by myself, as I said today, uh, I know exactly what he's doing. He's just brushing himself a little bit behind when he's switching speeds. So we're gonna, I might just put the hobbles on him, take the weight off him up front. Uh, we still have two sets of bell boots. I take the bell boots off him, put the trotting hobbles on the horse, um, and just train him for a couple of weeks. Great attitude, lots to offer, but he is just brushing himself behind. It's not a big deal. Um, dancing in my socks was great today. Now he got trained real hard. I trained him very hard on Tuesday. Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? It was Tuesday. Monday. Oh, it was Monday. You're right. It was Monday. And he came right back Saturday and uh, was very good for Jason Day. So he did maybe need uh, some hard training, some heavy lifting. And today he came back with a very strong training model. So good. I'm happy to see that. Fire and Shine was good again. Um, steers like a dump truck a little bit. But, you know, she's going to be a fun She's going to be our... Give me a nice little filly to race this year. Amy loves going to the fairs anyway. Buckeye the fairs. Like Fancy was last year. Much like Fancy. I say I would say very, very similar. Very similar in build and, and uh, the way they go. I have a question for yeah. you. Why? So last year when Fancy was dogging it, you put an open bridle on her. That's um, a great question. Um, and you haven't done that with... Well, I guess you said socks went good today. He was good. But so that's a great question. Uh, Fancy was super, super lazy. And I had, you know, I was a bit aggressive with her when we first started training. And I wanted to be able to just show her the whip and say, hey, it's time to go. And show her the whip with an open bridle or on. Or Idex. Uh, and he's had an open bridle on before. He's just not. not I think Idex is touching himself behind. I saw it today. He was running in late in the mile and straight away. And he, he'd marked his right hind up a little bit. So that is a little bit. Um, we have to fix that with his shoeing. But his attitude was good today, Idex. He won his training set. I'm fancy like was not a great trainer last year, but came on later in the season. So you make a good point. It's not the same for every single horse and every breed. I made a decision that I would train fancy down like that, but she ended up wearing a hood with cups or a clothes last year when push came to shove. This year, we just put the open on her to keep her comfortable because she was she did turn into a nice filly and she could get a little hot and and with that open bridle on, man. She's smart, though. She let Ronnie right up beside her. And I'm like, I don't know if she's going to let him go by or what. But as soon as I tapped her on the flank with the whip, she He was off. coming really fast. Like, I was, I thought she was going to... No, I could hear him coming. I knew what he was doing. You know, and because the drivers know each other also. And they know that maybe I'm going to sneak in, try and sneak in a second quarter. And it's hard. At Northfield Park, if somebody's coming hard, it's with the momentum, it's hard to keep them out. And they'll, sometimes they'll just pace right... And if they get you yeah. headed down the back stretch, they can just pace right by you. And it's not as much now with the track configured the way it is, but in the past, when I first moved here, it was a real problem because you race at Grand River and you try and go 28, a minute and a piece. You do that at Northfield, especially the old Northfield, and 3 and pace right by you yeah. before you get your horse started up again. It was yes. really hard. It didn't take long to figure out, but it was frustrating the first time. Like, wow, these horses are terrible. But it was just they, the outside horses could just carry. That's why they call it the flying turns. Now, they've changed it since then. It's not quite as, as difficult, but uh, a very interesting half-mile track. Um, Foxy Seaside has been absolutely fantastic some days and other times make a break or just be ordinary. I see a really talented filly in there and it appears that she wants to be. She dummied us pretty good she's today. She's been really good the she last She came first like, over four... and plowed us into yeah. the ground today. She's been really good the last like four trainings. Ago. Very, very nice filly. Uh, Freedom Hill was awesome again. Really happy with the way this filly has come on. I told everybody, you know, the what the hills. I think we it took us two years, but we got them figured out. I know exactly what they're, how to push their buttons. At least the ones that that have talent you know the, the bad ones are just she's bad she's the only one though that's been super grabby she hasn't been grabby she was just rude and ignorant but like none of the who else is it's a what the hill the years before the first no, year I, I know, trained them this, I'm like I'll this, never have I'm another one I'm talking about this year oh I don't know how many like, do we leggy, even have leggy doesn't oh she's pretty she's good fine. leggy yeah wander hill doesn't pull oh tuxedo pulls a little bit but not yeah. too bad but in historically in the past they were they were pullers, but this filly here has been perfect. Gaslight Hall, good again. They they uh, actually floor scoped and rack straight them the other day because this time of year you see the horses start getting a little sore on their knees. And before you get to a point where maybe they're a little too sore, you're better off just to take stock of what's going on. And they had x-rayed his knees, said, yeah, they're open. And there's some remodeling there. A number of the horses uh, are the same way. So uh, Blisterum didn't train Wednesday or Saturday, but will start training this week. Um, Saturday, when I'm home, is the first day. Now, we're not going to drop the hammer on them Saturday, but they are going to train. If he, if he's giving them, if they get splints, getting cryoed, uh, the other horses are all going to train on Monday or Tuesday. Um, 
I went right by everybody here. Where am I at? Gorgeous package was good today. Lauren went with her. She still steers funny. She's not perfect, but she's going to be a fun filly to race, I think, this year. Chappie, uh, another week in the stall. I might give him a couple of weeks in the field and then bring him back. Listen, we only have to have him ready for the fall. That's when we staked him. Um, and if it is this EPM, if it is just a severe case of EPM, fine. I'm eager to find out, but uh, I'm curious. I'm curious. Um, Grand Slam deal was great again today. You see the Philly, the horses that I trained hard on Tuesday, on Wednesday, was it, or Tuesday? It was Wednesday. On Wednesday, and then you come back Saturday, and they're looking to go another 10 rounds. I like that. And and the ones I went with today certainly did. Grand Slam deal was great. Green Glitter, same way again today. It was a winner again today and looked good. Put her on the front today, which I don't like putting her on, but she was exceptionally good again today. Jim Bury was very, very strong again today. Another Philly trained hard on Wednesday and come right out swinging again today. He's a great guy. was good today, too. Uh, he was third, I think. I beat you guys with Felix. He was in the middle. Uh, but he trained good. Very happy with him. High, high hopes. Made a break. Uh, we're going to start making some changes on High High Hopes. I might go with her. Uh, I know she tied up a little bit the other day, so there's no point saying, I said to Jason, she ran today, so there's no point getting angry. I'm going to give her a little pass, but she is going to make her way to my office uh, this week at some point. So I might go with her by herself, change a few little things, and go with her by myself this week, see if we can get her back moving forward. I know there's a nice filly in there, but she's going to be, she's a stubborn little bugger. She's a tough one to get through to, but the Uncle Peters are like that. It's just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and we'll get there with her. I don't play nice, very nice cold. He does everything perfect and has from day one. I'm a trucker. We turned him out for a month. I told everybody, just going to give him time. He's growing up, let his knees fill up. The guy who bred him called me the other day. He said his buddy follows us on YouTube and said heard me say that I was giving I'm a trucker a month off. And he said, is everything all right? He said, yeah. I said, what do you think? I said, well, I said, I would I would breed him, breed the mare back to a, a structurally sound stallion. Mm -hmm. A horse that doesn't have knee problems historically um, because that, that is his issue. Now, they're not breaking or anything, but he, they're very, he's very soft in his knees. He's a big kind of soft colt, uh, immature. So I'm just going to give him a little time to fill out. I'm Ready too. was a little soft today. I went with him. Uh, in the pace suit? No, he was in just, we were just going softer, but I'm going to train him next week too. He, he, I didn't, uh, he was, oh, he's always good, but I think he's got away with dogging it for a little while and that's going to come to an end this week. A lot of these horses, you know, they just kind of regress a little and we let them, right? Whether somebody goes and they make a break and the next week they just kind of sit in with them or they sit on the outside and they never really get that full training. And, and if that compounds week after week after week, you, you go to sit, like I go to sit behind them, I'm like, well, this horse trained faster than this and better than this a month ago that's their athletes you can't do that for for too long so this is why i keep an eye on a lot of these horses now i'm going with them another horse that seemed to say i have great respect for lt troubadour a little soft today so i'm ready to and i'm troubadour and lt troubadour i'm going to be going with them for the next week or two um so i'm ready to was fine mechanically as i said i'm just going to start going with them leggy was good today i think she won her set very easily lt troubadour was fine i just expect a little more from him manhattan money was great today i just held him off with green glitter again he was very good melisandra has been great i've been a little soft with melisandra you know we have a lot uh put into this philly i guess financially and amy's time and effort getting her ready she's good she won her set on tuesday and looked very very good we're going to go back with her next week uh mike had x-rayed her knees and said there's nothing really going on there's some remodeling there and some little things he said you know just maybe don't train her on on saturday so we'll start her up again on tuesday and she'll start back same thing twice a week they have to take that twice a week you know there's no point in hiding the horses away this time of year if they can't if they can't handle the workload then you need to start backing up with them and now retooling them and saying okay rather than june 15th maybe this has to be ready june 30th or maybe this has to be ready july 15th or maybe later than that but you have to be able to assess them and the only way to do that is to is to give them a healthy workload um memento mori is fantastic guy amongst the top of the class and as i said last week if you are going to force me into saying you need to tell me one horse right now that will win a stake race this summer it's a foolish question but if I was forced to pick a horse, it would be Memento Mori. Um, Mountaineer Prince, starting to run in a little bit. I just had the, the vet was here. He checked in. He was done Lazex, so he could drop by, and we were just shooting shit and talking uh, talking horses, and I was telling him about a couple of horses were acting odd. Mountaineer Prince used to coast out a little bit. Now he's running in a little bit, so something we can work on. Usually it's the knees this time of year. I just talked about that. Um, we'll check in with Dr. Latessa this week if I think so. I'll go with him Monday or so and see how he feels. Um... 
My Wicked Heart has been good. I like the horses that try, and she tries. Anytime anybody goes there, you can't say she doesn't try. So a horse that wants to be a good horse sometimes finds a way to be a good horse. Never Lose Felix was great today. Again, there's two sets and two weeks in a row, two training miles in a row. He's a winner. Getting better. I like the trend of Memento, or, uh, Manhattan Money, and I think a couple of weeks behind him is Never Lose Felix. Uh, Officer Soldier Boy has been training good. Brenda's horse in Ontario, so I'm happy for her. Pelican Owl, again. Who did I skip? Oh, he'll know. I think I did that last time, too. My brain must be right that way. Oh, he'll know. was good today. Lost a shoe with the head of Lane. Amy was going with her. Still finished second and looked good. Uh, Mike said maybe he blistered her, too. I don't think they blistered her last week, so uh, we should have. Can you win and just see if, just smell her knee. See if they, will you do that? She's right there. That's the only reason I asked. Skip her. You want me to smell her knee? Yeah, just rub your finger on her knee and see if they hit her with the cedar off. Because she should have her it's knees and hocks. No, I think the horses, they didn't poultice. They were blistered. That's why they did it. That's why I'm asking you. Any um, other knees you want me to smell? No, just those talking. knees. Smell those knees. Thank you. Um, so, uh, Oh Hill No has been good. Very happy with her. Pelican Owl will start back this week with him also. And this will be a very important week for him. If I still see the same trends that he was doing before, I might just pull the plug and give him a month off, much like uh, Trucker. There's no point in just pushing and pushing and pushing. doesn't matter whether you paid a dollar for the horses or a million dollars for the horses. If they're not ready, they're not ready. And that's just the way it is. You need, I, I need to respect that, respect them in that way. And you guys have to understand that that's a, in a very important part of, of their training is understanding that every horse is a little different. Um, Princess Dream has been great. Now she did kick through the wall and cut her back legs up. So she is going to miss a little bit of time, but there's lots of time for Princess Dream. What I would like to see in this downtime is to ever put 50 or 60 pounds on. That would be very good. That would be, I guess, taking lemons and turning them into lemonade, as I like to say sometimes. Um, Resolve indeed is very good. Very, very good filly. I love this filly amongst the top of our entire class. Rose and AJ up there also. He didn't train today because he had a little temperature and he didn't eat his breakfast, so he just jogged light. The horse has just been fantastic for quite a while. Rose and Alexander starting to get back into the swing of things after being a little bit sick. It knocked the, it did knock them for a loop. Maybe four or five horses were sick for about a week and she was one of them coming around now. And you want to hit her with it? Do you have cedar oil in your in your uh, little tray? Over there. Over there you do? Can you get can you hit her one? She needs all the same. Just knees for oh. sure. Well, you don't have to, but knees for sure. Uh, she's not gonna know. It's not like she's eating say, oh, I'm not gonna eat now. You're putting cedar oil on my knees. She's not gonna care. Um Rosetta. Uh, Rosetta has been great. Again, I, I, I love going through this list because there's so many nice horses on here so far. Sure, there's going to be some that break our hearts, but I don't think Rosetta or the next filly is going to be either one of them. Uh, and that is, she sits at the bar. Very good again today. I couldn't see. I didn't realize you were that close to to getting up to that horse. I, when, when you guys were going into the turn, it looked like he'd beat you by two lengths. No. No, well, she's, no we were neck and neck. She's a little stronger today? No, she was the complete opposite. What do you mean? Because she didn't have the snake cord on on Wednesday. Oh, she was quiet. Yeah, yeah. but she finished strong. Yeah. Well, so that's she what I'm saying. Very much, such a it's a world of difference. Yes, that's why they that's why they have them. Southwind Idex was actually good today, but he is kind of chewing on himself behind. So we're gonna make some more shoeing changes on him. We're just baby steps, trying to trying to feel our way around and get him hung up properly. He's not quite there yet, but he's close. Um, Speed of sound, uh, Chuck went and trained her today, just had an open happy bridle on. She made a couple of breaks, but when she didn't run, she was trotting great. I think she was just looking around being silly, and I just wanted her to get a little work in today. I'll start back with her this week. She looks fantastic on the track. Um, the Priest, another horse that was, had that sickness and was very weak. Alexandra, the Priest, mm -hmm. Aunt Lily, it took two or three weeks before she started to really come around. So the Priest was good today. Trevino on green, uh, by all accounts, has been good. I liked him, was happy with him. I told Danny we're going to make some changes with this guy. Uh, I'll go with him next Saturday also. Wander Hill uh, had hit himself right on the ankle, put a good cut on him. So we made some significant shoeing changes on him. Didn't go with him today, just jogged him. But he will start back this week. Westland Warrior was good again. I was only bested by Foxy Seaside today. <laughs> so Westland Warrior has been good. Really like him. What a lady, what a night. I like her attitude. A little skippy at times, but as I said to Joey, just let her get stronger. Don't worry about a thing. They're just going to keep blistering her, training her, pulsing her up on on, on training days, and and uh, I think she'll be just fine. Um, Woodmere Betcha. I love what I saw from this filly the other day. Really, really impressive. So I can't wait to see 
Uh, can't wait to see her train the rest of her training schedule. I want to ask Danny how she did this week. Anyway, with that, I'll let you go. I might get the opening in. It's dusk. That's what it is. I want to put Addie to bed. Yeah, dusk. So we're going to get, uh, I want to just talk about a few little things in the opening. And uh, other than that, all your videos are done.